Yes, your ambition. Um. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm an actress. I gave up my full-time job to become an actress. So wow, that's a big sacrifice. Right? Yes, um, it took a few years of planning to do. Um, but my dream is I want to win an Oscar. <laughs> I'm not going to lie to you. I've already written my Oscar speech already. <laughs> yeah. uh, I don't need to become famous. I don't need like, the money, the fame. I, just, I love it so much that I want to keep on doing it, really. And I think you're good at this as well, honestly. I'm, <laughs> not, I'm not just saying just because you're in my show. But I, I watched some of your uh, stuff and I really, really liked it. And particular uh, role model, do you follow anyone or uh, anything? In terms of the film industry, because I feel role models, um, I love Bruce Lee. Absolutely mm. love him. Um, not just because of his skills as a martial artist, but the belief that he had in himself. And, you know, he did philosophy as well. So he used to think really deeply about things. Like if I paraphrase him, he said about it's not about being able to do 10,000 kicks, it's being able to do one kick and practicing it 10,000 times. He was hard working that much. You know the things we see in the TV and um, he used to be actor, so in real life, is he, was he like that, Bruce Lee? Uh, I, I didn't know him personally, I wish okay. I did, <laughs> um, but people said that he used to think really deeply about things, but ultimately he was a human being, so he had his flaws as well. He wasn't like a god like you see in some films. Of course not. So, you know, like, um, like Kung Fu, you know, people always would like to Bruce Lee's like Kung Fu. He actually is the brain behind the Kung Fu. Is that how it is? Uh, uh, in terms of promotion of Kung Fu. Okay. Yeah, he's definitely the uh, front figure, you know, in terms of advertising Kung Fu into the Western country and Europe. So definitely the person. Yeah, my children used to watch him. <laughs> I know, we all did actually, young days. Yeah, yeah. I mean, he was something mm. to look up to, of mm. course. And um, very disciplined lifestyle he had. And um, have you, I'm sure some of your parents probably met him, no? Um, I'm afraid not. No, okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think that's, that's a good philosophy to follow as well. I and mean, when you have, when you have uh, ambitions and when you have people in front of you, then it's, it's, it helps to... Either you copy or do your own way, but it helps you to reach that part, doesn't it? Yeah, yeah and I love Angina Jolie as well, um, because of the person that she is. She gives a third of her wealth to charity. Yeah. I, I no. think it's amazing that you can share these things and not have to tell the whole world that you're helping other people, which I really love. If you want to share charity or charity, Alison's here. Mm. She looks after a lot of homeless people. That's, that's <laughs> wonderful. <laughs> <laughs> yeah.